But yeah, uh, Timothy Chalamet is a... Timothy Chalamet. Would it be funny if they did... It, would it be funny if they used Tom Holland? <laughs> that would be funny, but... <laughs> he gets to be Batman and Super. Yeah, uh, he gets to be Batman and Spider Man. That's crazy. <laughs> well, he's already Nathan Drake. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hon- honestly, that or Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking done. <laughs> just want to do like just just crazy casting for batman <laughs> picture denzel washington as batman so that's what we're gonna do now so that's, so, so that's what we're gonna do now huh <laughs> you think you can do this shit to me <laughs> superman ain't got nothing on me <laughs> Ah! Oh fuck! Oh god! <laughs> Christopher Walken is back. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, I, I, I told him he, he shouldn't have hit the old lady, and, and he did it anyway. So I, I had to pop him in the face. <laughs> 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 oh my god. This is content. This is fucking great. I love it. <laughs> We've gone off the rails. <laughs> yeah, y'all excuse the mess. I'm getting ready to move. So, a couple of quick disclaimers before we get started. First, I'd like to let you know that the following that you're about to watch has been pre recorded. Uh, I did this stream. Uh, just last week with my friend CW Games. And if y'all want to see those streams live, you got to subscribe to the Twitch channels. I'm going to drop the links down here in the description below. Secondly, this video is going to be about two hours long. So if you don't have time to watch this whole thing, don't worry. I will be posting smaller clips of the exact same podcast so that you can digest it a little bit easier you know, throughout the day or whatever, you know what I'm saying, um, just to make it easy for you to watch. But uh, with all that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the very first relaunch of Two Opinionated Idiots. Let's get it. Going. What up, y'all? If you ain't know, it's your motherfucking boy, Uncle B. And this is... Uh. Two of Pin Native Idiots. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go. It's only been like 15 years. Right. <laughs> I got a whole head of dreads out this bitch. What's happening, folks? How we doing? What's going on, man? Everybody feeling good? Check it out. Uh, we are relaunching the podcast today. And I'm excited because we got you for the next 60 to 90 minutes. Give you nothing but straight facts. And uh, you can hardly hear. Really? Hold on. 
See if I could turn you up a little bit. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, maybe not that much. Okay, maybe yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, you're okay. No, we good. We good. We good. We got it. We got it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we got a lot of stuff that we want to talk about today, um, and I don't want to hold y'all too much longer. But we got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, Ubisoft's in the news. Pokemon is in the news. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole bunch of things to talk about. Also, I got, uh, my first ever, uh, review of a video game title. Yeah, calling it Getting Real with B. That's coming up later. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait. But, um... Uh, but enough of that. Um, what are we going to start with, my guy? Um, that is a good question. Do we want to start with something light or something? Um, something light. What you got in mind? Um, let's see. Um, want to talk about, uh, Pokemon clones? <laughs> Pokemon clones. That is interesting. Um, that that is it, it's funny that you even bring that up because I'm gonna tell you the truth. Cause I tried it, I tried it, I didn't stick with it, but I tried it, and I I I, I was a little mad. I'm not even gonna lie, <laughs> I was a little mad. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, I was mad because I fucking liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad because I liked it. I liked it, but I. I, I, I can't stick with where it came from. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's that that's interesting. That's probably why Nintendo's mad too. Because <laughs> they've seen it coming. <laughs> I mean, this game's been known about for a long while. It it's not like it just came out of the woodwork. Mm-hmm. Uh let me see if I can remember the exact details. It was like announced. Oh, wrong area. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah. So it was like announced in what, like 2012. Really, that far back, huh? Yeah, I think so. It it was announced uh a while back. Maybe not that far back, but uh... okay, so my dyslexia kicked in. It was 2021. Okay. You know, 2012, 2021. Close enough. Close Same numbers. Enough. Right. Same numbers. Just, just, just look. <laughs> but, um, Remember that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild clone that came out? Um Craftopia. Okay, yeah, I remember that. I, I was I was thinking of something completely different. <laughs> yeah, that that was them. Okay. I just, I just realized my shit was muted. <laughs> oh no. Um <laughs> But yeah, uh so yeah, Pocket Pair, they they've been around for a little bit. Uh, do they actually have a page on them? I'm not seeing one. But yeah, it, so it was announced back in like 20. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Craftopia was their original project and it did all right, but it didn't, you know. But... I, remember, I remember playing that, actually. And I think I enjoyed it for, like, maybe an hour, but it it, 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 it it didn't stick with me. But it did seem like it was a successful title. Like, at the time that it came out, a lot of people picked up on it. I know most of my friends. Yeah. I know most of my friends but, did. But it, it didn't hit the same way uh, Power World did. Oh, no. Oh, no. Power World took off. Power World took off. 
And um, but, uh, let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, they they switched engines like halfway into development. Mm. And then um, so like a lot of like if you go back and watch their original trailer they put out. It looks very different. But, uh, yeah, so the notes I got, um, Pokemon, the Pokemon Company issues statements on Pal World similarities. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, where's that at? They did it better than us, and now we're mad. <laughs> yeah. So this was uh, posted by Game Rant. And they talk about it. You know, mm. gotta cite your sources, people. Um, yeah, so Power World is a survival game featuring creatures similar to Pokemon. Who would have guessed? Right. It sold over 8 million units and became one of the most popular Steam games ever in just six days after its release. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Um, and. Uh, the thing about that too is, is that that brings up a very good topic that I'm going to bring up later in the show because um, from my understanding within like the first like month of its release uh, that game itself brought in like 400 like million dollars like in, within like the first like month or so of its release it was absolutely crazy especially for an indie developer to pull in those kind of numbers. Yeah, they sold over 8 million units and reached 2 million concurrent players on Steam as of, when was this? January 25th? And that's just on Steam. Yeah. That's just on Steam. Now imagine all these console players out here. <laughs> yeah. a, oh, I'm playing Pokemon on fucking Xbox. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Pokemon Company, they, the official statement they released, uh, it intends to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. Another company's game released in January 2024, uh, leaving a little without regards to which game. Do, do, do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that just kind of ended the comment right there. <laughs> the Pokemon Company's former chief legal officer has recently described Power World as rip-off nonsense. Ah. <laughs> he must not be a fan. No, he's not. <laughs> but, honestly, it was Pokemon fans that were making the biggest... Because, alright, okay, this game's been known about for two years? Three mm -hmm. years now? Four years? Yeah. And so, Pokemon Company at any time could have taken steps to stop this from releasing. But they didn't. Which kind of, to me, says that they probably don't feel very confident in being able to do anything about it. Now, as for the mod that got released for it, where you can actually play as Ash Ketchum and its actual Pokemons modded into the game. Really? Yeah, that <laughs> got taken down by Nintendo. Nintendo shut that shit down quick. <laughs> I, th I think it was literally only up for a day, and Pokemon was like, nah, fam. We ain't about that life. Nah, G. <laughs> nah, <But>, G. <laughs> so one thing it kind of makes me think about is... Like, okay, so Pokemon has a very specific the, the design philosophy and like when they develop their pokemon nowadays it's more human than actual creatures but that's a whole different topic no. um so you know it kind of like how much could you it kind of brings up the question of how much as an artist do you own of your style like like, is someone drawing something in the style of um, DBZ the same as making a DBZ ripoff? 
like you know there there's design elements that's very Dragon Ball Z, but that doesn't mean you can't have spiky gold hair and an aura around you, and then all of a sudden you know it like there there's a line between straight up copying or stealing, and then and then it also brings up the whole uh, AI art gener- uh, AI argument. Which, like from what I heard, thing. yeah, which, from what I heard, is like, like a, a a vast majority of what the characters from Power World were actually created from was like AI or whatever. From, from, from um, what I heard, I'm not exactly sure how 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 true that is. I get a lot of news yeah. from TikTok, and you can't trust all that shit. <laughs> you can't trust all that shit. Don't yeah, listen to everything now, on TikTok. Take it with a grain yeah. of salt. <laughs> but. How uh, Pocket Pair has put basically kind of like given evidence to the contrary. The re the whole thing that brought up the AI thing was that they tried to release a game previously mm-hmm. that was completely based off AI generated art, like it was mm-hmm. an art game, kind of like a like a party game that involved art. No, uh, what's that? Um, Jackbox. Uh, where you make T-shirts and stuff. TKO, like that. TKO. Yeah. It's kind. Of, it, it, Don't make me want to play. My it. understanding, it was kind of like that. Yeah. And but it involved gener- AI generated art, and hmm. that kind of bled over into people saying that this was purely AI generated as well. But I mean, no one really knows other than them. But at the same time, I'm kind of I, as an artist, I understand the. So I fuck around with AI art some. Okay. And, but it's mostly stuff I've drawn, and then I put it into the system and try to see what it can generate off of what I drew. Mm. I'll, I'll probably show some of the stuff that's come up with. It, it gets kind of wild. But also, if you don't know how to tell the AI what you want, you're not going to get anything good. Right, right. That that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. But, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, as much as I can tell, Power World has definitely become a very successful product. Uh, and I hope, that they're, I hope that they're proud of them. So, big shout out to Pocket Pair. For uh doing their thing, and uh sorry Nintendo, I don't know if you're gonna be able to stop it. Uh, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> it's kind of nice to have a um competitor, yeah, yeah. But also, you know, good viral gaming news on like the day after. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Let, let, let's yeah. So basically, Pokemon said that they're gonna do what they can or look into it and. As of right now, that's the last I've heard on it. I Nothing's gonna stay. Nothing's gonna yeah. stay. They're, they're, Honestly, they're not I gonna... believe. Yeah, I believe if they had grounds to do anything, they would have already done it. Right. They wouldn't have let this see the light it, of day. Right. It, it it wouldn't have been out for like two months and have generated this much money. Yeah. Like. I will say like, the I will say this there it is you can see the very heavy Pokemon influence. Oh yeah, and that's because Pokemon has a des- design philosophy when creating their creatures, and that's easy to mimic. It's similar to like making your own Digimon persona. Like you just you just got to throw some belts and guns on them and make a wolf that stands on two legs, and you have a <laughs> Digimon. <laughs> Kind of copy paste type shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, yeah. So that that's interesting. Um, yeah. while we're on the topic of uh, while we're on the topic of video games, um, there's a a whole big thing. I kind of want to drop like a uh, a uh, uh, kind of a discussion to kind of see where everybody is on it because um. <clears throat> Ubisoft said some things about a month ago that, oh, um, boy. yeah, Ubisoft said some shit 
about a month ago that kind of made me raise an eyebrow a little bit. And it's because of the fact that I've been a gamer for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 39 and shit. And I know I've been, I've been a gamer. I've had a controller in my hand since I was like five years old. And, you know, I've always known about the idea of owning owning a physical uh, owning a video game you had a physical copy that you can hold in your hand of a video game much like all my all my nintendo switch shit you know you got a physical copy of the game you can hold it in your hand and say this is mine type shit and uh you know um Ubisoft had some interesting ideas about the about the future of gaming because now like there's like so much shit that's gone digital. <laughs> yeah, there's so much. That, and um, and what they're saying is is that we kind of have to get used to the idea of not ever actually owning a video game anymore. Yeah. What? <laughs> like um, what? <laughs> I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with that at all. No. I will start shopping at GameStop again if I have to right. stop that from happening. <laughs> right. You know, and fuck GameStop. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? Right. Like, um, the Walmart, my best fucking friend <laughs> right now, <laughs> forgetting my games. It's <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I just. Certain shit. You just kind of have to keep it old school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's getting to a point now where you got you got all of these games. You got all these games. Like think about when you when you go and buy an Xbox game. You know what I'm saying? Over the past couple of years, it's been yeah. over the past couple of years. Like you have the disc, you have the disc, but half the game ain't even on the disc. It's on the internet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it it, it, it kind of sucks, you know? I mean, I get it. You can download a whole fucking game to your hard drive and play it, you know what I'm saying, if you buy it from the shop, you know? And it's just like you owning a license. Did you freeze again? I may have. Oh, oh no, nope, there, there you go. go. <laughs> just being weird. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, like... I just don't like the idea of not being able to own a game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it, yeah. it just really, it, it, it doesn't make much sense to me. Yeah, I think part of the issue is that everything's become more convenient to just download it. That's true. And it kind of sucks because I, I used to love going to uh, game release events. Oh like when, yeah. Uh, the original Call of Duty 3 drop. Uh, okay, it looks like I might be having internet issues at the moment. Okay. No. So went back up to green. Cool. Okay. So, um, like when the original Call of Duty 3 came out, I went to GameStop. They had TVs and pizza and they had like, er, like, review copies or whatever. Like, people were playing outside of the fucking store everyone's like interacting and hanging out and having a good time listen and listen. like the you know the special editions got to go first and pick up their game and when the first guy comes out of the store and holds up the fucking you know box everyone loses their shit and is all excited for each other and you know <laughs> gaming commu gamers being a community and all exactly. that exactly exactly that 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 shit fucking love i've been to 3 um, midnight releases in my life. I've been to three. Uh, Saints Row Four. Um, Grand Theft Auto Five. And uh, and Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. I've been yeah those 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 three midnight releases and the like like those were absolutely fun. You know what I'm saying? Especially the uh, Saints Row 4 one. Like, everybody was gathered around the screen watching this guy play, like, the first, like, <clears throat> 15 minutes of the game and shit. 
and yeah. like practically losing their shit because the game is really cinematic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The rest of the game flopped. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it was still very cinematic, and everybody kind of enjoyed it. And, and it, it, you know, it was it was just a very interesting watch. What the hell am I doing? Anyway, fuck it. So yeah, yeah. um, but yeah, it's all a part of a push of them to become more like Netflix and you know, stream Disney Plus. They even changed their fucking uh program because you know it was what um. God, what was it first? It was, I think it was just like Ubisoft, like, or something like that. And then mm -hmm. it became like, uh, do they have it in here? Um, I don't think they do. But yeah, basically, it went like. You know Ubisoft, where you know you just made your own. It was like a, it was just a launcher, and you had your profile, you got points and all that, and then it became like Ubisoft Plus, and now it's like Ub Ubisoft Premium Plus Ultra Super DBZ. <laughs> Every other. <laughs> oh, it was Uplay. I think it was Uplay, and then it became Ubisoft. Pl oh, okay, yeah. So, uh, the platform rebrand was rebranded to Ubisoft Plus in October of what of uh, two thousand twenty. Mm. Another rebranding occurred on Monday, January fifteenth, when the seventeen ninety nine a month service was renamed to Ubisoft Plus premium and then uh the move also saw the company introduce ubisoft plus classics a more affordable offering granted granting access to a smaller cal smaller catalog of popular titles for 7.99 a month <sighs> i'm good like yeah, that this alone because this can this story came out before Skull and Crossbones. You know what I was excited about? Skull and Crossbones. You know what I didn't get because of this? Skull and, Skull crossbones. and Crossbones. And I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> glad from hearing the issues it's had, I'm glad I didn't get it. Honestly, if this is the direction, I'm I'm probably good not buying Ubisoft anymore. I'm going to tell you the truth. I find it very hard to get excited about Ubisoft stuff anymore and it's because of the fact that they've oversaturated all of their ips except for yeah one. they they did become very yeah uh call of duty right they've oversaturated yeah. all of their ips i'm gonna tell you the truth. i you will never see me get super excited about any ubisoft title unless it's rayman drop another rayman that's what we want yeah that's what I yeah, want. They would drop another they would fucking to, Rayman. <laughs> they would have to drop something so insane, something they haven't dropped in forever for it to like be like, you know what? Yeah, I got I will do this. Rayman. Rayman. Like like fucking Rayman. Rayman yeah. Legend another Rayman Legend style game. Right? Or something like that. Or not even Rayman Legend style. Rayman 2. You know what I'm saying? Like a 3D Rayman. Well, let's get that again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. other than that, I'm not super excited about anything that they're doing. Maybe Watch Dogs. But I don't think they even care that much about that title anymore. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they've, they've, they've all but given up on Watch Dogs so far. So I'm, 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 I'm like, whatever. Like, no. Yeah. Rayman. Rayman. Give me a Rayman. See, it, it sucks that, because, like, they could have just been like, hey, just, you know, if they didn't make it so, like, hey, this is what we're doing, and we don't give a fuck. Now, if they were like, you know, this is just kind of the way the industry's going, we're sorry. They'd be like, oh, okay. But, you know, with their track 
record, it's kind of like, all right, you're just the greedy fucking company now. That's that's all you want. You just you just want to maximize as much profit as you can while not giving us fair or equal value in what you're trying to sell us. Right. This is exactly why we're not getting another Rayman. This is exactly why we still haven't gotten Beyond Good and Evil 2. Oh, that that game is like a is like that's that and Star Citizen are like two games we're probably never ever ever getting right. fully released. <laughs> <laughs> Kill Drake, cop. Kill Drake says cop, cop. <laughs> Activision and EA, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're 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 all fucking, you know, they, they, uh, they they've whatever. lived long enough to see themselves become the villains. <laughs> Basically, now we just need Batman to go. Now we just need a rich billionaire with dead parents to go punch them in the face. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, oh shit! I'm <laughs> oh god! Oh yeah. shit! That Batman fans are probably gonna hate me after watching this shit. Really <laughs> <laughs> after, after watching this shit, Batman fans are going to fucking hate me. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny too. Uh, because um I mean, I know we're a little off topic, but, but it's funny too because like I recently have become more of a Batman fan than I used to be. Because you know I, it used to be that I didn't really give a shit about Batman because it was like he didn't do anything. He just had a lot of money. <laughs> he just he just he just had a lot of money and a lot of time on his hands. He went out to Tibet. And, and, and did martial arts training for like three or four years. Came back and started beating the shit out of some mentally deranged uh, criminals. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking rich people. Fucking rich people. <laughs> no, that he, Kildrick says that's Iron Man. No, that's not Iron Man. What happened to Iron Man, he cannot control. What happened to Iron Man, he cannot control. Oh, Honest, honestly, here, here's my view on Iron Man and Batman. Batman paid someone to build off his shit. Right. Iron Man built off his shit. Right. In a cave. With a box of scrap. <laughs> See, honestly, I think my biggest issue with Batman, we, we somehow got on a Batman topic, is like, like I love that he's like, quote unquote, grounded. But it gets unbelievable when he's the master of every martial arts. It's like, first of all, you know how long it takes to master one martial arts? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, I get, like, he's super smart and shit. Like, I think if they if they kind of went more in the detective route, kind of like they did with the Batman movie, I would probably get back into Batman. I mean, I still like Batman, but... Where he used to be as a kid to where he is now. Like, I'm starting to get back into him a bit more, but, like, he he was, like, I, I used to shit on him all the time. I'm just, like, I don't, yeah. Him and Superman. I feel like they've become too OP for their own good. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. And, and I, I think that has a lot to do with, I think that has a lot to do with the writers. That has a yeah. lot to do with, um... That has a lot to do uh, with the uh, the fan base, you know, the comic book yeah. readers and the, uh, the 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 moviegoers and stuff like that. You know, everybody, you know, hyping up the characters as much as they as much as they are, and then the writers is like, all right, well, we'll just give them what they want. That kind of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, and it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to the days when we just fucking like bully people into you know <laughs> giving us what we want yeah like uh uh like what everyone did with uh, uh Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> the community fucking outraged and then they got a whole brand new design <laughs> 
It did. It, it's kind of funny because <laughs> his design didn't bother me that much. Like it looked weird because you know, oh. so you know, we're so used to the classic design. Oh, oh like, no, that eh. that oh no, that that design and was then, a thing yeah. of nightmares for me. I, 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 there, mm. uh, I love the callback to it in the Chippendales movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think I don't think I saw that one. <laughs> oh my god! So in the Chippendale movie, you know, it it plays up as if they were in real, you know, like real actors and stuff. Yeah. And they're at a convention, and just like a booth over is Scary Sonic, and it's that's it's the original design for the movie Sonic. <laughs> With like the teeth and everything, <laughs> you're making me want to go back and watch it now. I wonder if it's on Disney. Uh, Is it on Disney Plus? I think it's on Disney Plus. Uh, uh, He's gonna look it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting excited. Uh, <laughs> Fun on Reef. <laughs> yes, it says it's on Disney Plus. Oh shit! Let's go. But, 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 uh, you know what? Let, let let me see if I can if I can uh. Uh, Kill Joy says Amazon. Amazon's got everything. I don't even worry about Amazon. I'm trying not to have to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly Sonic. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I almost want to see if you can pull up a picture of it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna I'm do you one better. Hold on, hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> Um, what is it? Uh, window? No, not window capture. I want to look. Uh, I want to look. You know, what? yeah, yeah. Let's do window capture. Fuck it. Okay. Yep. That's it. All right. Disney, please don't, please don't sue us. We're, we're <laughs> just, it's, 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 com it's just comedic. <laughs> okay, let, let, let me see if I can get it lined up. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I can, it's going to be tough to get it lined up. Hold on. Oh, it's windowed. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I got, I got it set wrong. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, and then let's get it shrunk down to fit in. I'll bring it right over my face. All right. So, I don't know if this is the actual clip. It says, Ugly Sonic Haunts Chippendale Rescue Rangers. So hopefully I'm, I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> Ugly Sonic. <laughs> What's up with the blazer? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Go and watch this movie now. That is hilarious. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, it's, it's a good movie. I, I loved it. I loved that movie. It was great. Oh, there's oh, another fuck. joke in there that's really funny. It's uh, Seth Rogen, right? Like a bunch of Seth Rogen characters <laughs> all interact with each other, and so you know, it's just basically it's kind of like the Peter Parker Spider Man meme pointing at each other. <laughs> You know, it's all Seth Rogen, like okay. uh, D Disney and Seth Rogen. You, you you would never imagine. <laughs> oh god, okay. that's fucking hilarious. There he is. Wait a little bit.
Sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> I literally just took a big ass bite of steak as soon as you got back. I don't want steak! Damn, now I want some steak. Fuck. Dude, it's been sitting right next to me this entire fucking time. <laughs> steak, back, bacon wrapped asparagus, and a baked potato. Oh. And I've just been sitting here trying not to like look at it and eat, want to eat it. <laughs> That's hilarious! Bruh! <laughs> I'm over here eating Sour Patch Kids. You got a whole fucking steak. I'm mad. It's a thick ass steak too. It's a New York Now I got to go now I got to go to Sam's Club and get me some steaks. Mm-hmm. And put them on my grill. I'll be right. Let me let me run to the bathroom real quick and I'll be ready. Okay. <laughs> Big Mama dropped a sub on me. Says you're my favorite idiot. Oh, she love me. <laughs> Hi, what's happening? These sour patch kids taste like hookah, and 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 now I'm mad because I need to clean mine. All right, I'm I'm eating these um tropical flavored sour patch kids, and I swear to God, if you eat like a bunch of different flavors together, because there's like four different flavors in the bag, if you eat a bunch of different flavors together, they taste like hookah, and it makes me want to smoke. <laughs> I'm glad they're not watching. <laughs> that's, that's definitely. <laughs> right. I'm, Sorry, I'm, back. I'm glad they're not watching. That's definitely a tale. <laughs> All right. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm 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 in my chat. Oh, big ah. mama's watching. She 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 just got home from work, but she's been watching the chat in in the car. She's watching the stream in the <laughs> car because she knows that we, as soon as she gets in, the kids are gonna be all over her. <laughs> like, give me a minute to breathe. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Every 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 time I every time I walk past my son, you know. It's, you got to give me a hug. I don't mind showing them love, but every, every once in a while, I'd be like, Bro, you just gave me a hug like five minutes ago. <laughs> like, let me accumulate. Shit. <laughs> acclimate. Acclimate, not accumulate. Accumulate is where you gather shit. Acclimate is where you adjust. <laughs> hey, I have a Memphis education. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh! <coughs> oh, I need to clip that. That's great. <laughs> and, and we are back. What up, though? What's happening? Yeah. Uh oh, shit. Welcome back. Um, everyone's staying safe and well hydrated. and Right. Stay hydrated, kids. Taking their potty breaks. Right. Stay hydrated, kids. Hope you got your snacks. Fortunately, I've only got like half a bag of Sour Patch Kids. As soon as the stream is over, I'm definitely going to need to put together a meal or something. All right. Hey, so... Hi, Mom. Do you know what's for dinner? <laughs> exactly. You got a whole dad in here all day. <laughs> Uh, All right, so, um, 
Let's get to it. Uh, uh, while I was uh in the restroom, I was uh sitting back thinking about um some of the stuff that um we kind of had in in discussion, and uh, not 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 gonna lie to you, some of the uh, some of the topics that we didn't exactly have sto- stories for, you know, what I'm saying I thought were really thought provoking. And uh, yeah. quite hilarious in 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 some cases, like um, like um, Jake Paul, for instance, um, because uh, what the fuck? Okay, listen, I am no athlete by by in in any sense of the word. <laughs> I am no athlete, you know what I'm saying? But um. So I, I can't really say anything towards any other people who are going to, uh, uh, people who you know they have anything else to say about you know, you know a- actual athletes or whatever. But I, I I really feel like this situation, what, <laughs> um, Jake Paul currently is all over my fucking my my, 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 my FYP on TikTok and all that because he apparently has officially signed the contract to fight Iron Mike Tyson. Think about that for a second. Think about that. Jake Paul, all right? Ba- bar- barely a celebrity boxer, all right? <laughs> Versus, like, the legendary Iron Mike Tyson. I wouldn't fight him on my worst day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He could be 103 years old. I still wouldn't fight that motherfucker. <laughs> I could be in peak physical condition. The, 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 you know what I'm saying? The, uh, you know, the, the best form of my life. And I wouldn't touch. I, I wouldn't touch Mike Tyson. Like, what? <laughs> I could be Tom Cruise at the end of Castaway. <laughs> emaciated as fuck. Well, he could be Tom Cruise at the end of Castaway. Emaciated as fuck. And I still wouldn't fight him. I thought that was Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, yeah. Why did I say Tom Cruise? God damn. My, my brain's not working. Yeah. That would be a completely different movie. Uh, I want to um open a discussion up because, like, th- th- that is seriously, like, 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 bruh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Kill Jack says the fact that Mike Tyson said yes to this means one thing, Jake Paul's gonna die. I'm curious as to who asked for it, honestly. I'm curious as to who asked for it. Because <laughs> I'm like, uh, what? Yeah. I'm thinking uh, it was there's... Jake's idea. I'm thinking it was Jake's idea. Had to be Jake's idea. Someone made the joke in one of uh, a, another Discord I am where uh, that he's going to hit Jake Paul so hard, it's going to reset both their careers. <laughs> Jake, Paul and <laughs> Jake, please don't do it. Please They're don't do be it. Back on the Disney Channel, right? Please don't do it. And then the 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 fucked up part about it is, it's like it, it it's gonna be live on Netflix. Yeah. Don't 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 do it. Don't do it. Don't say save your life. <laughs> I guess it's too late. He's already signed a contract, but you know, uh, I'm, I'll just, it, it, I don't know. It, it's whatever. Uh, another topic that I wanted to hit on that was uh, uh, super crazy on my FYP for like, like a minute was um, uh, a- uh, Aiden Ross was in the news, and uh, this time not necessarily for like uh, getting scammed by uh, popular rappers. <laughs> <laughs> that's another that's another story altogether. But no, um he recently um 
he 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 recently released information that he got some of his friends together and uh and uh had them sign a deal where they would earn fifty thousand dollars a month right yeah just to stream every day for a few hours on kick you know what i'm saying now yeah now to me fifty thousand dollars just a stream for a few hours a day sign me the fuck up <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. but his friends his friends dropped the ball dropped the ball gave up on the shit and he cut him loose. You know what I'm saying? And so, I guess the question that I, I want to pose is, if you were offered $50,000 a month just to stream, what you doing? <laughs> well, it depends on what's all part of the deal, honestly. So I couldn't find anything about that specifically, but... Uh, I, I so I went and went on TikTok and found a bunch of videos, and I, that's what I was watching a bit before the stream, trying to get caught up on everything. And most of what I could tell is that he was letting he the videos I was coming across was him basically telling the people that they had to pay him two k of what they made hmm. for rent. Right, yeah, because he he had moved him he had moved him in the house and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm like so. I don't, but also, also, it's it's the way he's going about it that I where I start to feel really iffy. It feels it feel, to me it feels more like a see what I'm doing for you now. You got to do for me, as opposed to like you now like. I don't know. It, it feels it feels more like he he wanted in return more than he wanted to help his friends out. Right. To like, oh hey, we're all gonna go in and we're gonna create a studio. Mm -hmm. You know, like ideally, like if it were me, I would make a studio. I'd be like, all right, this is where we work. This is work. This isn't where we live. This is where we work. Could you imagine if Amazon went, hey, you know how we just gave you like a $900 check? We need 100 of that for, you know, you being here. I'd be like, you got me fucked up, Amazon. <laughs> but I do get it. He, they are at his place. Right, 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 right. And so, you know, um, he didn't got his utilities. His... Right. His, you know, so I, I, I get that aspect of it, but at the same time, it's like this. This is why you gotta read your contracts, people. <laughs> right, you gotta read your contract. Uh, in the chat, we got uh, Big Mama says, uh, "I need to be his friend." <laughs> Kill Jack says, "Fuck yes." Big Mama says, "I'm a fucking string." <laughs> Kill Jack says, "My dad would smack me if I said no." <laughs> <clears throat> And then, yeah. yeah, and then uh, Big Mama also says, uh, but at the same time, barbers, estheticians, doctors, they all pay rent for their space. So yeah. that kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That kind of makes sense. If, in the instance of, like, barbers and beauticians and stuff like that, they're also technically independent. Hmm. Mm. So it's... Yeah. yeah. I, I can't... I don't know much about... The doctor aspect of that that that's closer to big mama's expertise than mine yeah <sighs> but i i used to go uh a few of the women i used to go to church with they they had they had booths at beauty salons and stuff like that so i mean like i i get that aspect of it but i don't Something to, uh, honestly, I don't like Aiden. Isn't he also the guy that got a uh, fuck face uh, arrested? <laughs> <laughs> so, so snitches get stitches, fam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, there was something in the news about him uh, revealing the location of a 
<laughs> Andrew Tate, so, and he got yeah. arrested. I'm I like, mean, mm. so I, I, because that's the circle he runs in, I just initially do not like him. No. And just like what I had seen of him, I just, I just like, I know he's not the guy for me, man. I don't, I don't he's typically, not that guy, pal. I don't typically follow him anyways. I think he, uh, but. I think he exploits and gets exploited by a lot of uh, a lot of popular uh, black yeah. uh, black content creators, and it's, yeah. it's like uh, I'm, that, you, that's, you're not my bag, fam. That that's what that's kind of what this feels like for me. It, it feels like that's he's exploiting the people he his friends. Mm-hmm. He is probably like, hey, look, you, I can help you make a shit ton of money. You're gonna move into my place, and they're like, "All right, cool. You know, a place to live, and I get to make money." And then he's like, "Oh, hey, now that you're making this money, you owe me now." Which is where I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I don't know." But uh, I mean, like I said, never been a fan of Andrew. I mean, oh God, now he's not his name to my <laughs> fucking mouth. <laughs> never been a fan of Aiden Ross, but. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought the topic it, it was is, interesting. It is, yeah. Yeah, it I is, thought the topic it was is, interesting. Uh, entertainment news. Right. At least our entertainment news. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no fucking entertainment tonight. Fucking Dateline. Oh, we never, edition. we never discussed our uh, story of the week. Um, Which one is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's. Let the uh ooh, I don't know, I'm counting toward between Destiny two and the uh the Destiny two thing I feel like is pretty big. Uh Destiny two, I was actually gonna do like um honorary idiot yeah. as well. Um because <laughs> yeah. Um I mean the most recent thing that I could think of would be the Akira Toriyama. Uh, oh news, God! But that's that's really sad. That, that is really um, sad. But we definitely have a lot to celebrate when it comes to Akira Toriyama because he did a lot of projects, and those yeah. projects impacted a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, the, <clears throat> the people from like our generation. Are you are usually one of our first animes, or Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z? Actually, my first anime was, believe it or not, Sailor Moon. Oh my god! <laughs> that was my first anime, Sailor Moon and Samurai Pizza Cat. But, that was that was uh, funny that I bring that up because now I want to watch it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, granted, it, uh, I didn't say it's everybody's but you know dragon ball and dragon ball z are usually like within that group of Mm -hmm. like especially if you watch toonami in the late 90s early 2000s oh yeah sailor moon dragon ball z um and a bunch of other animes yeah Uh, yeah toonami and if you watched fucking uh adult swim you had shit like Trigon and Inuyasha. I fucking love Inuyasha. Ah, I'm trying to rewatch that series. Actually, Inuyasha is amazing. Kill Jack said Sailor Moon and DBZ were both on Toonami back then for the first time. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, they were like heavy Toonami. hitters. They were heavy hitters back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were hitting along the uh. They were heavy hitters uh, uh, around the same caliber as like uh, Bubble Soup Gundam Wing, uh, Outlaw Star, Cowboy Bebop. You know what I'm saying? Like all of those, all of those titles from from from, from back then that were popular when we were coming up. Yeah, uh, along that same caliber. So yeah, it's it, you know Honestly, what I'm saying. When I would. <laughs> Back in, what was that? That was fourth fourth grade for me when I really started to, like, get into drawing. Um, I would try to draw my characters 
like Dragon Ball Z, even though I didn't know how the fuck to draw that. Yeah. <laughs> but all my characters, like, I would even do, like, the Saiyan armor, and then, like, I'd do, like, diamonds and, like, plain paint jobs on it and shit, and, like, like it'd be black with, like, blue flames, kind of like, you know, a lowrider. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I would, I would always try to, like, that's always, like, my fallback, like, when I'm just, like, randomly drawing, everything kind of harkens back to, like, the DBZ style. And that style is all over the place, too, because he, he did a lot of stuff. He did the uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball V. I think he was involved in uh, 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 Blue Dragon, um, the Dragon Warrior series. Yeah. Dragon Warrior series, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he... Sorry, he... Uh, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger, yeah. Like, he, he was a very... He, he did a lot, I mean... For nerdum, just in general. Yeah, we. Uh, I don't think we're ever gonna get anybody uh, with that same um, art style. Like, yeah, you know, like it, he, 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 he definitely, he definitely uh, laid down the foundation. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying for a lot of today's artists, and uh, it's is it's sad to know that he's gone, but. You know, everybody needs to pick up a copy of uh, Dragon Warrior Builder or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Play that in honor, in honor of the great uh, Akira Toyama. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to work on something art-wise to like as like a tribute, but I'm I'm I also have a lot of other stuff going on. Kill Drake so says, kind of like trying to find that find that balance. Kill Drake says, "Dragon Ball walked so Naruto, so Bleach Naruto in One Piece good can run and never stop." Man, I kind of put man, he, I kind of put he missed the yeah yeah. No, I'm just saying I kind of put One Piece in the, the 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 same lane as Dragon Ball, honestly, considering how 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 long it's. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it started back then. <laughs> you know, I, I'm a uh, I'm a little disappointed in Kildrak. He he missed a perfect pun opportunity. Oh no! <laughs> he, he, if he would have moved Naruto in One Piece, it would uh, be Naruto run. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we we've both played Pal World. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about trying Pal World. I think it had a, a couple of updates recently. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh, moving on. Um, Pokemon uh, was in the news a little while ago. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah Pokemon was in the news a while ago. She had uh. Moves. Yeah, she has been making some moves. She had quite a few things to say about um she had quite a few things to say about Twitch and uh has recently cut off exclusivity with Twitch and uh, apparently is moving on to other other ventures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which I, I I mean okay. <laughs> Again, not one of those um content creators that I typically follow. But um, yeah. but it's also uh, great to hear, you know, saying the stuff that she's doing because I've never really heard her in in the middle of anything like really controversial or, or, or nothing like that. I think yeah, the the few controversies I have heard about her were like just like other content creators like talking shit or like a miscommunication between her and someone or. But yeah, I mean, she she's one of those people that I've kind of never really he heard anything actually bad about. Yeah, yeah, I remember a while back she had a little bit of drama with uh, Gideon or something like that. But apparently yeah. they like made up and became like real good friends and stuff like that. But like, yeah, right. isn't she the one? I think shortly that after did... they 
Oh, the big mama says, isn't she the one that did like artisanal fart jars? No, no I think that that, was... that that was someone that no. <laughs> Pokemon's content has been. She's never kind of done anything outrageous like that. Mm -hmm. Hers has always been like, you know, like. God, I can't think of the word. Um, wholesome. Yeah, yeah. Like family friendly ish. Right. -ish. I mean, she had what nine point three million followers. That's right. That's can I have some of those, please? Yeah. Can, can I borrow? You're not. Like, a you're not on. Three? You're not on Twitch yeah. anymore. Can I have like a a ten percent of that, maybe? You know what I'm saying? Just to get she, me up uh, there. <laughs> her content was mostly Fortnite, and Valorant, Among <laughs> Us. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of just chatting, just chatting. Uh... Wasn't she the one? Wasn't she one of the first to help? help out twitch on the map um no i think she started her career much uh much much later because i think uh twitch became a thing in about like 2012 2011 if i'm not mistaken and her career yeah. started about i almost want to say 2014 Her Twitch started in June 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she reached platinum rank of League of Legends. That's a uh, that's a game I don't think I'll ever touch, honestly. <laughs> yeah. In 2017, she gained 450,000 followers. Yeah. Uh within the 100 most followed on the platform. Uh, she got a Shorty Award in uh, 2017. Do, do, do. Um, uh, yeah, so, I mean, she's been around since about 2013. Yeah, she's been, yeah. She's been and, around since yeah, about so 2013. She, she's, yeah, I think she was basically an earlier adopter. And then, yeah, she said it, an additional streaming on Twitch platform has multiple YouTube channels, Pokimane, Pokimane 2, Pokimane, VODs, Poke ASMR, and iMain. Uh, is that like her, is that like her, her vlog channel, iMain, is it, maybe? Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. That's... Cause I think that's that's her, that's a real name. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yo. yeah. I mean, hell, oh shit, she was in Free Guy too. Yeah. She was in Free Guy. I remember yeah, seeing her now. Her and yeah. her and uh, her and in 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 Ninja, I think yeah. we're in Free Guy. Damn, I gotta watch that movie again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Easter eggs in that movie, but it doesn't beat uh, Ready Player One though. Yeah, is it, no, 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 mean, that entire movie and book is well. I don't know much about the book, but the, yeah, that entire movie is all Easter egg. <laughs> That's right, the that whole that right. The, the, there's so many pop culture references in it. In, in that movie, that it, it's 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 hard to list them all. Yeah, I think I saw the uh, I think I saw the Ninja Turtles in that big ass battle scene. I know there's Battle Toads. Yeah, Battle Toads. Um, but yeah, um, could you picture? Oh so, yeah, could you picture the Ninja Turtles and the Battle Toads in the same video game? That would be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Fortnite, yeah, get on uh, it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fortnite, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a young adult <laughs> version of Wreck It Ralph. Um. Yeah, I would, I would, I would say so. Yeah. I yeah, I, I would say it's pretty close to that. 
I would say it's pretty close to that. Um, the storyline isn't as um. I'm the, I don't have a word for it, but yeah, you know, you know, it's whatever. But yes, yeah, so she started having she's started having trouble with tr Twitch and the way it is as you know it's kind of going basically kind of criticizing uh the banning process uh the late response uh like getting back to her on trying to try and get people banned cuz she she did start to get harassed for a good bit mhm mm and uh you know and just yeah you know, you know the, they make some weird like they just finally kind of backtracked on the uh multi stream aspect, but they have so many little like Twitch has to come first rules in there. Like, oh yeah, you can stream to other platforms at the same time, but you can't show anything but Twitch chat. You can't do any links to other streaming sites and you know. Okay. Twitch has to have the bet has to either have equal or better streaming quality than the other ones. So you know, there's there's that, yeah, stuff like that. And then uh, yeah, so she's just kind of uh, decided that not to put all of her eggs in one basket, which I think is it's probably the smarter move really in smart. in my opinion. I'm like, you know what? Give us some more money. <laughs> Maybe we'll be hate. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm I'm just joking on that shit. But yeah, I mean, she kind of has a point. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, um, they have been like, you know, very controversial as where well, as far as like how the company is being being handled yeah. between between um, which as a platform and uh. Um, the streamers and stuff will use it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of the uh, affiliates and the partners or whatever, but you know. Um, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm yeah. saying? At the, end of, at the end of the day, you can't tell a motherfucker what money or anything. So. Yeah. <laughs> another, uh, another topic about uh, companies making bad decisions. Uh oh. Warner Brothers. Oh shit. Set to shelve and delete Coyote versus Acme film once and for all. If it, see, if this is the thing about it. I hadn't even heard of that particular title up until the point in which they canceled it. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> and and, and it, it sounds like something that they should have done decades yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> Just, just the, just the, uh, at the top of the article when you first click on it, the picture they show is Will Forte with Wiley Coyote, and I'm just like, I want to see that. Right. Like, how the fuck do you not want to see that? How do you drop the ball? <laughs> Man, kept Houseway. up left and right. Houseway. That's that's Man. that's unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, IGN posted this one. Uh, but yeah, so in the notes here, uh, in the bullet points, we got uh, Warner Brothers rejected offers from Amazon, Netflix, and Paramount. Mm -hmm. uh, they reportedly wanted 75 to 80 million for the project. That's a lot of fucking money. So it came down to money. It, 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 it came yeah, down, nobody wanted to, it came down that nobody wanted to fit the bill. Is that it? Yeah. So here's yeah. the thing. Uh, the editor for the movie took to Twitter and kind of called Warner Brothers out on the, uh, he basically expressed his frustrations at Warner Brothers mm -hmm. uh, over their decision and joining others who are once again calling on the company to release the film. <laughs> Uh, Coyote versus Acme was announced in 2022. Missed that completely. Yeah. Uh, it was co-written by James Gunn. Okay. And John Cena. What? <laughs> or, no, no, my bad. My bad. I fucked up in the notes. It was co-written by James Gunn. 
and stars John Cena. That's still crazy. I know, right? Like, <laughs> I, I would have paid money to go see that in the theater. And I hate movie theaters now. But I would go pay money to go see that. I know, right? Ah. So, it gets, even, it gets even deeper. It gets messy. Oh, no. So, U.S. congressman... Uh, oh, God, I don't know how to say that. Jaquan... Jacqueline? Ja- Jacqueline? Jack- Is it Joaquin? J- I don't know. Castro tweeted to the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, asking the United the United States regulatory or to investigate Warner Brothers discovery for what he describes as predatory practices of scraping scrapping projects in favor of tax write-offs. Wow. You know, uh, so so money basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Warner Brothers Discovery is set to release its fourth quarter's earnings report on February twenty third, which should have looked into that. Mm. Uh, with speculation that it will announce the film's cancellation, Coyote versus Acme is one of many films to be scrapped entirely, joining other canceled Warner Brother films such as. Bad Girl and Scooby Holiday Hunt or Scoob Holiday Hunt. Okay. Scoob Holiday so, Hunt. So the so the the the, the Scooby Doo re the Scooby Doo Christmas reboot. Christmas. Right. It's like a, a reboot sequel holiday special fucking super mega ultra awesome Capcom name bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Um, I think actually this is the perfect segue into uh our new segment. Uh, what you think? Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. get into it. Yeah. Getting real with B. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. Um. So getting real with B is a new segment. For the uh, podcast, where I review uh, controversial video games, and when I say controversial, I don't necessarily mean as the in the video game being uh, having a controversial uh, topic in nature or whatever. No, that's that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is video games that people are like split in decision on whether it's like you know good or trash, and you know, for whatever reason. Um, a big disclaimer, I do not do reviews professionally, you know what I'm saying, but we don't get paid for this shit. We don't get paid for this shit. Kind of. Not really. Maybe. I don't know. But, um, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, whether I do or whether I don't, any word that you hear from anybody else, you know what I'm saying, other than your own should be taken with a grain of salt. In, in the first place. Uh, with that with that said, let's get to it. Getting real with me. Yeah. So, um, today's uh, topic in nature is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So, yes, Warner Brothers is all over this fucking uh, podcast today. <laughs> uh, so, the game is um, basically... As as it said, you know what I'm saying. Um, you have a, a crew of misfit characters, uh, who were pulled from their uh, prison sentences in Arkham Asylum and uh, called out by um, uh, Amanda Waller, who is the most evil bitch I've ever seen in my life. Um, and uh, tasked the uh, and, and tasked the four. Yeah, those four. Uh, uh, basically, to go to Metropolis and destroy the Justice League. Yeah, we love to hate her. You're absolutely right. I, I'm I'm having a hard time deciding whether I hate her more than I hate Handsome Jack. But that's another story altogether. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Anyways, um, uh, the game is very the the game is very interesting. Um, it stars uh. Uh, of course, Harley Quinn, uh, and Deadshot, 
um uh the characters are not voiced by the original movie character uh uh uh, uh the movie stars but like characters from within the animated universe I'm a, uh, I'm 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 assuming I know Harley Quinn is I'm not too sure about uh Dead Shot but you also have King Shark who I fucking love that guy he is fucking great and um Captain Boomerang who is also I mean the the characters themselves are interesting to watch you know what I'm saying um I will say that much uh I'm going to get into the review um story wise it is not as bad as people made it in my opinion um the story was uh very comical in some points but very serious in others uh especially in the point where you actually have to you actually have to kill um batman and like this is the this is the part that people fucking hated but quite frankly i felt like it showed a lot of uh character growth because um in this scene uh harley quinn has the uh, i probably should have dropped the spoiler alert but the game's already been out for over a month anyways um the uh the scene is where um harley quinn has a uh, a revolver to uh batman's head or whatever and uh they're pretty much having a standoff of words but uh batman's already been beaten to a pulp and you can see where like she took absolutely no pleasure in putting a bullet in the brain of the guy who had she had been fighting for years you know what i'm saying um the story uh takes a lot from the arkham series which is actually it's supposed to be a sequel to um batman arkham knight uh which is weird because it's not a batman game <laughs> yeah. you know there but it's definitely um i mean i i had i had fun with it but i also had my gripes you know um i thought the story was hilarious you know i thought there were parts in the game that were comical that were that was meant to be comical especially when you finally kill the Green Lantern and then um, King Shark actually puts on the Lantern Ring and becomes the Green Lantern himself for all of like two minutes. <laughs> oh boy. But um, I thought there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of parts in the story that were very funny, very comical, was real written. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have to keep in mind too that this game comes from a different universe than uh, the story that we already knew. So, a lot of the rules that everybody was trying to hold this game up to were completely different from, you know, what I'm saying uh, everything that we were seeing in this game. Uh, gameplay wise, it's kind of like an arcade looter shooter kind of kind of thing uh open world and it it it, it plays decently uh, tra uh traversal is 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 a little kind of sluggish you know cuz it's 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 kind of hard to get used to playing like each character like the game almost What's the word? The, the the game almost incentivizes you to play one character and stick with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because each character moves with a different style. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, like their movement changes between each ones. And it's kind of hard to kind of... I'm trying to put the words together. It's kind of hard to adjust. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, uh, in the main storyline, um, there's a lot of parts in the game where you're on the roof and you're talking on the radio to whoever it is and um, the game won't let you move. You're just stuck on that fucking roof 
and you're looking at the objective, it's right fucking there, and you won't let me go. What the fuck? Like, they, they literally freeze you on this roof, and it slows down the gameplay, and it sucks. It's so fucking bad. But other than that, um, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have a whole lot of gripes with this game. You know, I really don't feel like the game deserved as much flack as it got because it, uh, it it's it's not a bad game. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely not one that I think I'm going to, you know, just, you know, put like, you know, hours and hours into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's not like Destiny, <laughs> you know? But again, um, I feel like this game was in trouble, like, well into its development. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's the kind of thing. Uh, it it kind of it kind of reminds me of um when Square Enix tried to do uh Marvel's Avengers, you know what I'm saying? And Ooh. that game, yeah, and that game flopped. That game flopped horribly, you know. Honestly, it's... that I I really like that game. It's just the after the main story part of it. Yeah, that's where it falls flat for me. Yeah, and it's I I think it was the the, the live service thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just feel like it was. I feel like they're both examples of a studio stepping out of their comfort, stepping out of the comfort zone, and not finding their lane. You know what I'm saying? But you also got to remember, developers, <clears throat> not developers, publishers, mm -hmm. kind of like to throw their weight around and that usually ruins a pretty decent game in my opinion yep that that's that's also a good point that kind of the the the, the kind of weighs in on this because i felt like i felt like if this game had been left to the developers themselves it would have been awesome yeah. it, 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 it would have been awesome it would have been great but i feel like the hype that it was a sequel to um arkham knight kind of ruin it the fact that two of the head developers from uh rocksteady left in the middle of development for the game that kind of hurt it you know what i'm saying and all of the all of the hurt behind um kevin conroy's quote-unquote send-off was you know what i'm saying also would hurt the game but me personally i had fun with it you know i had fun with it will i be playing it for season one more than likely yes because quite frankly i all uh, i would love to play as a joker even though i'm trying to understand how we get to play how we get to play as a joker when he died already that's that th how they come up with that i have no idea i think he's gonna come from another okay. earth or something but i mean like i said it was a really good game it had a few flaws honestly in in in, in my opinion i'm giving this game a good i'll say seven out of ten you know what i'm saying All right. yeah it, it 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 was a promising concept it was a promising concept but between everything that happened that kind of made the game you know, as rough as it was, it 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 just it 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 just couldn't stand out. You know what I'm saying? But um, what I do plan to do is go back to the game once season one releases. So as soon as I have information on that, I'll do another getting real, where I will tell you about everything that I learned about season one. Yeah. So that's getting real with B. Fuck yeah. That's my thought. There it is. Fuck yeah! <laughs> now we got to make a graphic and all this shit for that. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for the love and support. You know, man. <laughs> now we got to get to our uh, story of the week, which incidentally is also our honorary idiot award. And th this this is gonna be interesting as fuck. Well, not that interesting. <laughs> interesting enough to make our st uh, story of the week, but uh, uh, go ahead. 
I, I, I go ahead. I know you want to launch this off. Uh, which one are we talking about? The uh, uh the Destiny, Destiny. yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, four-time world first Destiny Two champion banned by Bungie for cheating. It's sad. <laughs> it's sad. A renowned Destiny Two player and four-time world first champion. That's weird trying to say that, but yeah, world first champion is banned for cheating, as determined by in-game cheat detector. Uh, Destiny 2 player Cruz is banned by Bungie for using a cheat engine while playing another game, triggering an automatic ban in Destiny 2. That's Damn, he wild. wasn't even playing Destiny 2. He wasn't even playing Destiny. That is fucking crazy. Damn. Yeah. Uh, although Cruz is banned controversy. <laughs> Bungie is unlikely to lift it due to the potential precedent it would set for cheating in the game. Yeah. Oh, that's, man. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. First off, I'd like to point out that I am not a fan of cheating in, in, in any in, in any sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, But it does kind of suck that... It does kind of suck that he wasn't even playing... Destiny 2 at the time that he had gotten banned. But, uh... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but even still, you know, it, 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 it kind of... It, 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 it doesn't look good on on Cruz in, in any sense of the word. You know what I'm saying? Killjack says, People are literally cheating with plenty of evidence and trials in the world's first winner who wasn't even playing Destiny 2 gets banned. Yeah. I mean... I, I I I mean I understand what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't even playing Destiny Two, but the fact of the, the the fact of the matter is he had the cheats, which means he was probably using them yeah. in other games. So think about that. You know, he was still cheating in a, he was still cheating in other games, but he just happened to get banned on De- Destiny Two, and I mean, he has never cheated with World First Teams. I mean that that might be the case. You know? Yeah. No, Sam, uh, but... I mean, cheating has gotten really bad in gaming in general. Uh, Escape from Tarkov, that shit was, I don't know if it's gotten better, but that shit was bad. Like, everyone was wall- running wall hacks and tracking hacks where they could see you through walls. They could tell what shit you had in your inventory. They, like, it and like Linus, uh, this is how I found out about it because on their podcast uh, on Wan Show, they talked about it, and they even showed a bit of the uh, the video the guy made, like exposing it, and it was just insane. Like, like in game, there's this little uh, like you know to peek around corners, and players would do that, and they would call it the wiggle, <laughs> to, you know, to let other players know that they were good. And it got to the point where cheaters would do that to let other cheaters know, like, I'm cheating too. Like, I, I see you're cheating, and you can see I'm cheating, so we're going to wiggle at each other. <laughs> so, like, yeah. And, like, dude even tested it. Like, he's looking at this guy in a building, and the guy, like, completely turns and looks directly at him. And he's like, is he looking at me, or is he just like... So he's like, let me try this. Let, and so he, like, wiggles... And then you see the like the frame model of the guy in the building start wiggling back at him, and it's just like, damn, bro. It's like fuck. The fucking cheat. Suck. The fucking cheating community is just god awful. Yeah. I I just I just fucking can't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I I it it just it because could could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like. If there was like no possible way of cheating in video games, could you imagine yeah. how many games how how many games would go completely unaffected? Like like the wins you actually worked hard for, you actually got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me me me, me and Big Mama play Fortnite like 
almost every night. Like, almost every night. And I guarantee you, there's been, like, numerous occasions where I would get sniped out of fucking nowhere and the bullet didn't even touch me. So oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, could you imagine if that wasn't a thing? Like, oh, how I, many games I, I would have won? <laughs> one of the... Uh, uh, I forget. So, me and Nuke, Nick, we were, uh, we were playing Call of Duty. You know, we were uh, doing Warzone. And we're, we're like, all right, we're going to go to our spot, and then we're going to chill for a bit, let a few of the circles close in, and then we're going to, you know, move. Well, he's behind the mountain. Actually, I wonder if... Here, let me see if I can pull it up. Oh, he's got a clip? You got to see this shit. You got a clip? Oh, he's yeah. dropping clips! <laughs> he's better at this shit than me. I don't want y'all to understand yeah. that. <laughs> All right, bring that down here. <laughs> Let's see, window capture, turn this to TikTok. <laughs> Got it. Boom. Okay. So uh, let's alt, click and drag, click and drag. I gotta see this shit. Uh oh. This all really <laughs> looks like some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Just just wait, it gets better. Oh no. Alright. At first I don't think I saw Nick that. Is, Nick is behind that rock. Yeah. The only way you can tell where I am on his screen is the giant U tag showing me where I am. Right. So, see, Nick is behind that rock. Wall that hacks. ass rock. Wall like, hacks. I'm like, Bro. we just came up and we're like, and he immediately drops, and we're like, "What the fuck? We know no one's behind us." Right. And man, then, um, so, yeah. Man, um, fuck. I remember. I don't know how it used to keep come up in my my timeline, but every once in a while on TikTok, I would see these streamers playing Fortnite, and like they're like with wall hacks on the screen, like you could see them. You can see where everybody was, or whatever, and yeah. it, it, you know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 it frustrated the shit out of me. Like I tried to report everyone that came up on my fucking for you page, and I'm like, bro, you are out here like, you, you, you're, you're cheating, and you're broadcasting it Open. yeah. <laughs> openly. What? <laughs> Anyways, um. I'm I'm sorry, but in, in 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 this situation, I've got to give an honorary idiot award to Bungie because we got to fight back against these cheaters. I I I I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, the the they make gaming so hard, and I fucking yeah. hate it. You know what I'm saying? Che cheating is part of the reason why I don't play. Uh, PvP in, in, in Destiny 2 anyway. <laughs> I don't yeah. touch the shit. I don't like it. I don't fuck with it. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> oh, okay. So, in the story, they talk about what the... Uh... So, basically, he <laughs> was a part of a team that did four World Bus raid races. Basically, mm -hmm. to, like, the moment a new raid drops to see who can beat the raid first. And he's done that four times. Right. I uh, hope it wasn't cheating. Hopefully <laughs> it was good teamwork and right. Cuz that's that's a that's a teammate that what the hell? Oh, it's cat man. Yeah, because that's a teammate that you you, you, you ain't got no more. 
<laughs> hope I, I hope you didn't need him. Yeah. I hope he wasn't God. the star player. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much that would suck to be like part of a team like to do that at least once and then it turns out one of the people you're playing with was cheating right like fuck oh. that kind of takes away from like the epicness of what y'all just did right it definitely does probably takes away the award as well yeah i don't know I know me. I'm I'm not trying to play world's first for shit. I'm I'm sorry. No, you, you don't have to yeah. tell me how to do it. <laughs> I'm not for the race to pick your shit out. <laughs> Honestly, raids and like yeah, raids is kind of what took me out of Destiny 2. No. Yeah. Cuz like I I, <clears throat> I didn't like Destiny 1. Like, I couldn't get, I just could not get into it. And then I eventually got into Destiny 2. And then when I got to a certain point in the story where it's like, you have to do these raids to complete these missions, I'm like, mm. and then, like, I just, I just, like, I would have the weapons. Everyone would, be, they'd be like, Oh yeah, you need this weapon and this weapon to take on this boss, and we'll be good. I'm like, all right, cool. And my shit would be so un under leveled, and like the stats would be fucking like I would literally just be an extra body more than I would be doing damage. Right. Yeah, so basically. Kind of like it gets to the point where like every time I was in a raid, I would they'd be like, "Sorry, man, we got to get someone that can actually do damage." Like, you gotta go. I'm like, all right, I understand. Y'all want to beat the raid, and clearly, I'm not helping. Can't. Can't. <laughs> Chat, very distracting. No, no, my issue with the raids was, like, um, I would have friends would be like, hey, let's do a raid tonight. And I'm like, all right, bet. But, you know what I'm saying, I kind of have to be at work in the morning. Oh, we'll get it done in a couple of hours. It'll be cool. Two hours, hours later. Up. Right, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I promise we're gonna get it this time, dude. It is three in the morning, and I have to be up in five hours. Fuck you. <laughs> By the time y'all get done, Doom Three's released. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. <laughs> By the time we get done, uh, uh, by the time we get done, Dr. Dre dropped another album. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, no, I, I fucking can't. But I, yeah. I rock with a, I rock with a clan now that, you know, knows what the fuck they're doing. So that's good. Yeah, so so so, so raids aren't that fucking hard. But you know, you 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 still got your. Dumbasses. <laughs> Any fuck away. Um, I think we hit pretty much everything. Um, uh, I think the only thing left in the script, if you want to talk about it, is the uh, Batman Beyond. Oh uh, shit! Well, I, I mean, I didn't really have any concrete concrete information on it, but yeah, like um, uh, King Lion was talking about uh, the reason why we're not going to ever get like a Batman Beyond reboot or a Batman Beyond movie uh, yeah. is because what they're actually working on is uh, a, a Jurassic League movie. Yeah. <laughs> Justice League what? Dinosaurs. What? <laughs> <laughs> But here's the even here's the even bigger kicker. The Batman Beyond movie would have been by the same people that did Beyond the Spider Verse. Who wouldn't like, pay you, to see that? How do you how do you go nah dinosaurs? I get I get a bit of the logic. Kids like superheroes, kids like dinosaurs. And uh King Lion, he brought up a really good point on the comic series isn't kid friendly no at all my counter argument to that is what superhero movie has been one-to-one -one like the comics got a point you got a point but 
I would. I'm. I'm sorry. I, I'm. Yeah. I, I. I would love to see. Uh, I would love to see Batman Beyond before I get to see Jurassic League. I. I, I don't. I don't care yeah. that much. I don't care to see Superman as a dinosaur. This yeah. is, is, is is not my forte. Like I'm. I. I would love to see. I would love to see uh, a Batman Beyond. Like who? Who do we? What actor do we know that could pull off a good um, Terry McGinnis? Because I'm, I'm like, because, because I, I would, I would much rather see that than anything else. Like real talk. Uh, I don't know. Like, who, who would be who, a good Terry McGinnis? Um, Timothy Chalamet, maybe. He looks young enough. Yeah, maybe. he could probably pull it off. Timothy Chalamet, and, and he's he's kind of a big deal right now. So yeah, he did would, the uh, that would make the most sense. Yeah, he did the Wonka movie. I would I would have said like Robert Pattinson, but he already did uh, Bruce Wayne. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey folks, that's about all the time we got on this podcast and I appreciate you for watching. Listen, if you made it this far, I'd like to thank you for supporting me. You are a really big help. Uh, you can also help me out by smashing that like button down there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, drop a comment and uh, give me some ideas on uh, uh, what you thought about the podcast, things that we said, you know what I'm saying, your thoughts and opinions. And, uh, you know, let us know what else y'all want us to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can find some articles and and put that in the next episode. And also, if you want to see this podcast live, please make sure that you go to my Twitch or you go to the Twitch of CW Games and subscribe to your boys. You can get the access to the live podcast that we do every other Sunday. Uh, with all that being said, I really ain't got that much else to give you, but you already know what's up, man. Thank you for joining the network. We're going to see y'all next time. This has been Uncle B of BTV. And I'm going to holler at you. Yeah. I do the thumb thing now. It's it's just it's just natural. <laughs>